All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So at this point, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen in the in-game news that the next Dokkan Fest unit on Global will be, as predicted, the AGL Android 13. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have some, let's say, mixed emotions about it because I know that this dude is not really the most highly anticipated banner or Dokkan Fest for many of you. But you know what? He had to come out at some point, so now is as good of a time as any. And uh, I'm glad that actually we're not getting the dual Dokkan Fest between the Majin Vegeta and Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku right now because I'm pretty low on stones and I'm sure a lot of you guys are pretty depleted as well after the Bardock banner. So. Uh, this is going to be a good time to potentially save for a lot of people, but for those of you that are curious about what the Android 13 does, as well as the uh, trunks that's coming with this banner, and also another unit that we just became aware of today, then keep watching. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So instead of the Android 13, we're going to start with the other unit that we just got info from. Um, after the data download and that would be this Bulma right here exciting adventure youth Bulma She is officially going to be the April Fool's card for this year and She's actually really really good a really really good free to play unit Her leader skill is Dragon Ball Seekers category key plus 4 HP attack and defense plus 41% Super attack is uh, supreme damage and raises attack and defense by 41% for 4 turns, and her passive is attack and defense plus 41%, high chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks, key plus 9, plus an additional attack and defense plus 81% when there is an ally whose name includes Goku Youth attacking in the same turn. So uh, from what I've seen, she can easily get over about a million attack, which is actually really good for a completely free to play unit free to play unit and uh, the other good thing is that apparently she gets her own orbs and they can be farmed from a special event so that uh, everybody essentially can rainbow her for free so that's also good and uh, yeah guys she is the 2020 April Fools card now although I like her I mean I like Bulma as much as the next guy but I was hoping for something a little bit more unique. I don't know if you guys saw my prediction video for this year's April Fool's unit, and I put out some really good ideas in my opinion, right? I, there was the uh, apron Vegeta that keeps breaking the eggs, Super Saiyan 3 Nappa, or uh, Super Saiyan Hercule, so on and so forth. I thought those ideas were pretty solid, but instead we just got like a standard, you know, just standard Youth Bulma, even though she's very solid, I'm glad we have a good free-to-play unit to use, but uh, they could have been a little bit more creative with it, in my opinion. Anyways, let's move on to the next Dokkan Fest on Global, which is this dude, the uh, AGL. Android 13. His leader skill is Target Goku, which is a new category led by him, or Android's category key plus 3, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%, and super attack causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his passive is attack and defense plus 130%, Android's category allies key plus 2, attack and defense plus 30%, and attacks guaranteed to hit, which means that the Enemy cannot evade your attacks and transforms when conditions are met. So the interesting thing about this guy's addition to the game is that that's another like top tier support unit in the androids category. So if you want your androids team to be as good as possible, then you will want to have this guy in your box to uh, once again support the entire team just like the LR androids, just like... Um, I mean, there's a bunch, I can't think of them right now, but there's a lot of support units on that category, which I'm okay with. It's just uh, kind of interesting that they decided to add another one. And the transformation conditions, it says absorb androids 14 and 15's parts and transforms when there are another two or more androids category allies on the team, starting from the fifth turn from start of battle. So as far as transformation conditions go, it's not bad at all. Um, fifth turn is a little bit late. I mean, fourth turn obviously would have been better, but still, it's really easy to fulfill 
these conditions. And uh, when he transforms, he becomes really, really good. His links are RR Army, Android Assault, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, Nightmare, Fear and Faith, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Movie Bosses, Androids, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, and Target Goku. And let's see here. Okay, so once he transforms into Fusion Android 13 or Super Android 13, his Super Attack becomes immense damage and massively lowers defense with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. And his passive is Q plus 3, attack and defense plus 130%, plus an additional attack and defense plus 13% uh, per target Goku, category ally on the team, attacks guaranteed to hit, and disables enemy guard, and performs a critical hit when facing an enemy whose name includes Goku, but not including Goku Youth, uh, Goku Captain Ginyu, Goku Jr., etc. So basically, it has to be just Goku, but I think, you know, Super Saiyan 1 Goku, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, all those work. It just can't be a kid Goku, it can't be Ginyu Goku or Goku Jr., okay? So, um, yeah, I mean, really, really good passive, 130% attack and defense, and then an additional 13% for every target Goku category ally. So if you have a full team of seven target Goku allies, that's going to be well over well over 200% attack and defense. I don't know if they have the exact calculation here. Uh, they do not. Okay, so 7 times 3 is so 21%. So 200 and... Yo, it's so late right now. My brain is not working. Uh, <laughs> is it 221%? I think it's something like that. 221% and then key plus 3. I could be wrong, by the way. Don't blame me for it. Uh, don't judge me for it. Alright, I told you it's late. So, it's just mental math, not a thing right now. But uh, yeah, key plus three, so self-sufficient for key as well. And uh, also guaranteed critical hit when facing a Goku enemy, of which, you know, there's a lot of them in the game. So there's a good chance that, uh, you know, a solid amount of the time, you will be getting that guaranteed crit, which is also pretty freaking awesome. And the links stay the same, categories stay the same. So uh, that's the Super Android 13 for you. As I've said multiple times throughout multiple videos, he is a really, really good unit. It's just, he's not hype. And at this point, I think most people will summon based on hype over how good a unit is. Unless the unit is like really busted, then everybody I think will summon. But for the most part, if the unit is really good, but not broken, and it's not a super hype character, then a lot of people are probably gonna skip just being honest right so that's the 13 let's move on to this trunks here he's a new unit that's coming with the banner and uh his leader skill is fizz types key plus sorry no fizz types attack plus 33 percent per key sphere fizz key sphere obtained and his super attack massively raises attack for one turn causes supreme damage and sacrifices five percent hp and his passive is attack and defense plus 100%, plus an additional attack plus 100%, but defense minus 50% when performing a super attack, and chance of performing a critical hit, critical hit, plus 7% with each attack received, up to 35%. So this guy can hit really hard, but he is a bit of a glass cannon. As you can see, defense minus 50%, also sacrificing 5% HP, every single time he supers, so uh, definitely a glass cannon, but if you want damage, this guy has you covered, all right? And his links, Royal Lineage, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Cold Judgment, Messenger from the Future, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. This dude might be in contention for like the most number of words in a link set, even though he has seven links, that's a max, right? Seven links, but like all these links are like three words, it's crazy. Anyways, random observation, doesn't really matter. Um, categories, Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Movie Heroes, and Bond of Master and Disciple. And let's move on now to the banner because that's obviously very important. I'm sure you guys are curious about what the banner, at least on JP, look like. And most likely, the global banner will be very similar, if not exactly the same. There might be some changes, but I wouldn't be surprised if it stayed exactly the same as the JP version. So let's take, take a quick look here. So we got the Android 13, we got the uh, uh, Fizz Trunks, and the other featured units here, 
they're good. They're good, but a lot of them are pretty old. Let's be honest, right? So, uh, aside from the Piccolo, who was recently, um, you know, released on global, the Android 17 Mad Old, Jiren Mad Old, uh, Super, what do they call it? Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku or Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, definitely old, and Turles as well. Um, like I said, they're all good units. It's just a lot of you guys probably already have them, which is another reason a lot of people skip the skip the banner when it first came out on JP. And uh, I mean, if it stays exactly the same, then I think it's going to be a pretty easy skip, in my opinion. For me personally, I'm talking from my own perspective, right? If you guys uh, really need these units or you're a fairly new player or you love Android 13, it's your favorite movie, he's your favorite character, whatever it may be, then go for it. I'm just saying, not the best banner as far as value goes. Okay, moving on to the last thing in this video, which is the category um, Target Goku, the new category. I, got, I want you guys to see it real quick uh, just to, you know, get an idea of what it looks like. And as you can see, we have two leaders. So this... Um, Android 14 and 15, I believe, is free to play, and they come from the new story event that we're also getting with the celebration. And uh, yeah, they're a sub lead, but they're not a very good lead, so you're probably not going to be running them with the team. Uh, the main lead, and the only legit lead, I guess, is the Android 13 at the moment. And overall, I would say this category is very solid. Very solid. I mean, we, we got the Tech Broly, we got the Baby, we got uh, Incel. Uh, we got the LR Androids, of course, and as you can see, a lot of good extreme units in this category. A lot of very, very solid extreme units. So, yeah, there you go. So, overall, as I've said, a good category. I wouldn't say it's great. I wouldn't say it's busted by any means. We've definitely seen some way better categories released recently, but uh, it is a good category. It's going to be a good team, a good strong team, especially if you combine the uh, target Goku and also the androids category uh, obviously the androids category is really really good so um, yeah you can run a really good team with him but uh, as I said Android 13 is just not the most hyped character and it's sad that a lot of people will be skipping his banner but uh, I mean if you are a fan if you want to complete your Android team then I think he is definitely a unit that you would want and he is a very good unit overall so that is pretty much going to do it for today's video guys let me know in the comments down below um you know pending what the banner looks like of course if you plan to summon for this android 13 um or are you going to save for something in the future like the five year anniversary the Majin vegeta and super saiyan 3 angel goku something else maybe Whatever it may be, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, for me personally, man, I'm probably going to spend like 200 stones for one video. And that's going to be it. I mean, I'm literally going to do it for the summoning video. I'm going to be straight up with you. I don't really want him that bad, but I would take him. I would take him because, as I said, he completes my Android's team. And uh, it would be fun to, to be able to run all these like awesome supports and... Just like good units in that category um so yeah we'll see we'll see what happens but anyways guys that is the video thank you so so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.